Hi guys, sorry, we're getting in a little bit further in the day than I planned. Um, I woke up this morning and I wasn't feeling very well. My stomach was, uh, I was having a lot of pain in my solar plexus. So um, I decided to allow myself to have a slower kind of morning and um, now I'm feeling better. So here we are. And the big news today, obviously, that everybody's talking about is Jupiter moving into Capricorn, and it literally just did like 20 minutes ago. Jupiter, now that transit, is now in Capricorn. I know a lot of... A lot of people have been talking about how Jupiter moving out of Sagittarius isn't going to be, and going into Capricorn, isn't going to be as beneficial or as lucky as what we've had in the last year. Now, I know my Sagittarius energy in the last year, like, I had so many amazing things happen to me because I'm a Sagittarius moon and it's in my third house of communication. So I had a lot of things like that workshop that I did, like I had a lot of things blow up for me. But I also looked at that energy and I allowed Jupiter while in Sagittarius to remove the things out of my life that had to do with my communication abilities in my third house. Do you see how I'm, I'm showing you this? Um, I had to remove certain things out of my life. And some of that were ideas and pro, like programs and mindsets that I myself had and that had been created my entire life. So that's what Jupiter did for me, but it helped me to expand myself in ways that I couldn't even dream of, like I didn't even imagine, right? So what I want you to do this is your challenge for the day. This is going to become a thing, right? The Virgo giving everybody homework. What I want you to do is, if you don't know, first, if you don't know your rising sign, I want, I want you to find out what your rising sign is because that's your first house. And it's going to show you the house that Jupiter, that Capricorn and Jupiter is going to be in. For me, it's going to be my fourth house. And with Jupiter and Capricorn, it's going to provide you in whatever house that it sits in, in your birth chart, it's going to provide you the lessons and the growth opportunities and the ways that you can change to help you build your desires in a long-term way when it comes to that house and that aspect, right? So mine is in my fourth house. So it's really going to be geared towards home because I'm a Libra rising. Capricorn is my fourth house. Jupiter just transited into my fourth house. So I can expect a lot of changes when it comes to my home environment, which is something that I've really been anticipating anyways. But then when the changes happen and the changes occur, no matter how it's happening and no matter how they're occurring in your life, you have to see that as even if it's really uncomfortable or even if it's not the way that you wanted that change to happen or that change to occur, Jupiter is giving you the opportunity to expand in somewhere, in some way. That's what Jupiter is doing. He doesn't necessarily like being in Capricorn, but everybody's talking about all the negative aspects about how Jupiter is going to be like smacked on the nose and like we're not going to be able to have all these expansive dreams and stuff. That's not what it's about. It's about taking all of your expansive dreams that you thought of during the Jupiter and Sagittarius transit and making them real and long-term in the Capricorn transit. It's not about stifling you. It's not about stifling your dreams. And if any astrologer or anybody's telling you that Jupiter and Capricorn is here to stifle your dreams, no. It's here to show you where you need to change in order to have your dreams for the long term, the long run, the long term, okay? Because Capricorn... It's Saturn, right? Saturn and Pluto is there. They're going to have their conjunction at some time while Jupiter is there. And the Saturn and Pluto conjunction in itself that we're going to be dealing with in 2020 um, that we haven't talked about yet. That's something like we're going to approach that subject lightly. But um, yeah, so, so there will be necessary changes in your life, but it's going to benefit you for a long time. So be, just be open, and um, if you need to find out your birth, inf birth chart information, if you go to 
astrocharts.com. There's a link. I don't even know what it's called. I don't even know, remember the link of it, but it's in my description box below this video. It's all the way at the bottom and you can find your birth chart there if you need to find out what your rising or your moon signs are. Let's see what the energies are happening with today. Oh, the other stuff that is happening, there are a couple of other things that are happening. Just like smaller, oh, the moon is void. So if you really, if you have moments today, the moon is in Aquarius, it's in the void. Um, what that means in astrology terms is when a planet or when the moon is void, it just had a major aspect to another planet. So like the moon is just like squaring Mercury. And then before it goes into its next sign, which will be Pisces, it voids or like um, it uh, it wanders, if you will, because it's not really connecting to anything. So that's why they call it in void. And a lot of times when the moon is in void, we don't feel like getting things done. Sometimes the moon can be void. Like it happens every two, two and a half days with each moon cycle, the moon goes void. So it's not, I'm not telling you to like not go to work every two days, but I am saying that if it's a little bit more difficult for you to logically think of things to do or to create space, especially with the moon being in Aquarius where it's like all thinking, right? If you're having a little difficult time today doing that, um, that's why. Um, and Mercury sextiling Pluto. Um, you know, people are outing themselves right and left. Like everybody is showing their asses these days. And I really feel like that has a lot to do with Mercury sextile Pluto. I feel like that's really been a buildup type of energy that we've been having Every time I see this transit, I'm like, oh, that's why that person did that all over social media two days ago. It just means that things that are normally like left unsaid or left like hidden under the surface, it just means that some of that stuff is coming out into the open, the Mercury sextile Pluto transit. So, okay. Um, some of y'all are celebrating today. There are some really, really big opportunities and really, really big things at play right now. And and I and it's funny because a lot of you have been waiting for this stuff to show up or you've been waiting for a sign or you've been waiting for this, you've been waiting for that, you know? And um the waiting has created this like stagnancy within you and boom all of a sudden and this is what I mean by like a transit like Jupiter going into Capricorn. You know, it's like it's like a puppy getting smacked, like its nose getting smacked, right? But that puppy, and not really, like, don't, please don't smack a puppy. Like, but you know what I mean, like down, like, like getting the puppy to go down. And um, that was a terrible thing. To, I'm so sorry. <laughs> like, I don't condone beating animals. You guys know that about me. Like, don't smack a puppy on the nose. But when you're trying to, like, get a dog to calm down, and ju that's Jupiter moving into Capricorn. Capricorn is now, like no, we're going to do things my way now. I know you had fun for the last year. You created all of this. Now let's get it into line, right? That's what Jupiter and Capricorn is going to do. So, um, but I do feel like you guys are, some of you are really seeing some majorly big, great opportunities, things that you've been waiting for for a long time. So I have the three of cups and it has to do with your stability and the passions around that stability. The three of cups, the ace of pentacles, the Three of Wands, the Ace of Wands, and the Chariot. And here's the thing, you guys, is whatever, like, I feel like people, I feel like you guys are celebrating things that you've been waiting for, for a while. And, and it could be a move. Like, maybe you heard some information about actually moving or traveling in some way, shape, or form, but, um... Like the excitement is real. Let's clarify. Let's see what the Three of Cups is. This is going to be a much shorter video today, I think. Nothing wrong with that. Okay. So yeah, um, you're feeling safe and you're feeling steady and you're. I want you to celebrate this moment of feeling safe of where you are currently right now in this moment. Like I want you to really, really feel it. The Queen of Pentacles, feel that security and safety that you're in right now in this moment. And if you're not feeling safe and secure right now in this moment, 
um, sign up for my meditation for this coming Sunday. I'm going to help you. I'm going to help teach you how to become present and to feel safe and secure in the present moment. It's really not that hard to do. Um, we just, we, we start to think too much because our outside world is so chaotic. So that's why it's hard to be in the present moment. So this is something from the past. This is, it's almost as if it was destined for you. So, and there, like there's money from the, some of you might even be getting like, like a delayed, like some of you are going to get like a delayed paycheck or a delay, like something kind of money that's been delayed that you've been waiting on. Woo, just in time for the holidays. Some of you are getting holiday bonuses. Um, but it, it, it's rooted from the past in some way. It's rooted from, um, with the Six of Cups, it's like, it's, it feels like it's just part of your path. It just feels like it's been part of your path. Um, like it, it was there all along, but was waiting to reveal itself. That's what it is. like this moment or this secure feeling, because that's really what the Ace of Pentacles is. It could be a monetary thing. It could be like a structural thing or a material thing or a monetary thing. But it could also just be the feeling of safety. Um, like things finally fall into place and you go, oh, that can be the Ace of Pentacles as well. Because it's a, it's a, it's a solid, right? It's a, it's a solid feeling of something. So let's see what the three of wands is. Lots of threes here. So collaborating and working together with people. Three of pentacles. Oh, I just heard that some of you are actually like getting back what you've put out there too with this ace of pentacles and the six of cups. It feels like you're getting back what you've put out there, like the energy that you've put out into the world. Like maybe you were really super generous this year and now finally everybody's sort of being generous towards you or like falling into line towards you. But um, the three of pentacles and the, on the three of wands, I feel like you're this. it's a collaboration of sorts. People getting together and realizing, oh, wow, we really have something here. And it's, um, it's like creating this spark and movement, man, great reading, really good reading for a Jupiter in, in, in Capricorn, um, transit, like seriously, cause this is like collaborating with people, getting that spark going, seeing the long-term goals and pushing forward on it. And it's like a fate. It's a destiny, destined feeling, right? Um, so let's see. And the Queen of Pentacles is actually Capricorn energy because the Queens are the rising or the um, cardinal signs, the rising. The Queens are the cardinal signs in tarot. So let's see. Um, Ace of Wands. Queen of Cups. Okay. So there is an opportunity um to work with or like some kind of opportunity is given to you possibly from a queen of cups possibly to a queen of cups whatever this is it sparks movement in both of your lives like things like i feel like there's this creative process that's about to happen or that that's really being you know boiled up from under the surface that has been sort of waiting there for a while like, okay, it's time to move on. Let's go. Let's move forward. Chariot. Justice. Bottom of the, ooh, Ten of Swords. So do we have to lose things to gain things? I don't know, man. I feel like there's a balance of energies. That's, this, this feels more like the worst is behind you. It feels more like, or it could be that there are some haters that are still sort of lingering with the, the Knight of Swords and the Ten of Swords. You're too good for this. 
there might be some haters that are lingering around or telling you why you should not be doing a certain thing or or whatever. I so I want I, you know we can deal with this energy at a later date. You don't even need this in your life. That ten of swords. Um, I feel like the worst is behind you. I feel like there. I feel like things are just moving up, moving forward. I feel like there's a lot of stuff that's um, really becoming balanced in your world. And isn't it about time? So, there you go. Uh, remember that all of that that most of my reading, my thirty minute reading, is on sale. My thirty minute reading is on sale. Sagittarius birthday special is still available. Um, still have some jewelry on the website. Um, I sent out two this morning, and it always feels so good to send out the jewelry to people because, like, you're literally getting a piece of my energy because I put Reiki into all the jewelry that I do. Um, so you're literally getting a piece of me too. And it's just, it fills me with so much joy that I get to spread. Like I sent something out to Canada today and then, um, and, and something's going to, uh, where's the other place? I don't even remember. Gosh, I don't remember anyway, but I love that I, I can touch everybody all over the world. It's that, that's, it's my best. It's my favorite thing about the jewelry. So, um, that and it's handmade and it's beautiful and it's so comfortable to wear. But the rings are comfortable. The necklace, like this thing, rarely leaves my neck. <laughs> and you can interchange stones in there. You can get, you can like purchase it with a specific stone and then interchange the stones as you want. Awesome Christmas gifts. Um, they get delivered in like around a week's time, depending on when you purchase it, obviously. Um, but. So that and the one question readings are available again. If you get it this week, I will be answering them on Sunday and Monday. So that would be if you get it this week, you will receive your reading on the 8th or the 9th of December. So if you get it this week, then you'll get it on the 8th or the 9th of December, that's Sunday and Monday. Um, other than that... I love you guys. Have a wonderful day. Thanks for hanging out with me. Bye.